Welcome to the Setting Up SPC Tests and Triggers interactive presentation. In this presentation, we're going to look at how you can use WinSPC to detect and control special cause variation in real time. Specifically, we'll cover how you can test incoming data and how you can trigger corrective actions in response to test violations. To get started, enter your name and click Login. The best way to set up SPC tests and triggers in WinSPC is to configure a control test template. Click the New Control Test Template button. Type Bottle for the template name and press Enter. If you've seen earlier presentations in this interactive tour, you'll recognize this bottle example. We're going to build on that example in this presentation. Double-click the bottle control test template you just created. The left pane of this control test template window contains over 25 standard SPC tests, each of which detects a unique manifestation of variation. This Western Electric folder, for instance, contains the SPC tests developed by the Western Electric Company. This pane also contains a folder for user-defined tests, tests you can create based on conditions and rules unique to your operations. Select the One Point Beyond Control Limits test. This test detects when a subgroup exceeds either the upper or lower control limit, a commonly used indicator of variation. Click the Enable Test button, the green checkmark. Once a test is enabled, you can add one or more triggers to it. Triggers are automatic responses to test violations. On the right, click the Add Trigger button, the green plus sign. And, in this Trigger Setup window, click the Trigger Type list. These are the triggers that are available to you. Some initiate action without human involvement while others alert shop floor personnel so they can initiate action. The right OPC item trigger, for example, can automatically send a set point or calculated value to a PLC that uses OPC technology, enabling the PLC to self-correct a setting, such as temperature. You can email supervisors or other personnel when a test is violated. You can interrupt data collection and prompt for a supervisory password or trigger a variety of other actions. If you would like an explanation of a trigger in this list, mouse over that trigger now. Otherwise, select Message Box. The message box trigger is used to display a message about a test violation for shop floor personnel. For instance, for our bottle data, you might want to display, please enter a corrective action. The last measurement collected violates the one point beyond control limits test. Now, one option you have with some triggers is to dynamically insert specific content. For example, you could have WinSPC automatically insert the name of your characteristic. To do this, Position the cursor between the words last and measurement. Click the Insert button. And select Characteristic Name. Notice there are other options which, depending on your message, you might select. Click OK. As you can see, some placeholder text has been added to your message. This text will be replaced by your characteristic's name when data that is captured for that characteristic violates your control test. To complete your setup, simply click OK. Let's add a second trigger, the Prompt for Notes trigger. Click the Add Trigger button again. 
Notice the Prompt for Notes trigger is the default selection. This trigger prompts operators to enter a note, assignable cause, and or a corrective action. Under Force Entry of, check Corrective Action. This forces operators to supply a corrective action before they are permitted to capture more data for the characteristic. Click OK. And click OK in the Control Test Template window. You've now configured a Control Test Template. You did this by creating the Control Test Template, assigning tests to it, and assigning triggers to those tests. Your next step is to link your template to the items you want to use it. Here's an easy way to do this. Click the plus sign to the left of Collection Plans in the tree pane. Drag and drop your bottle template into the WinSPC Tour folder. Now, click the WinSPC Tour folder. By linking a template to a folder, you automatically link it to every item within that folder. Since your control test template is now created and linked, let's launch WinSPC's data collection window and see how the template would be experienced. Click the Navigator button. In the Navigator, Select the WinSPC Tour folder in the left pane. Under Contents of Folder, select the Bottle Collection Plan and click the SPC button. Next, to supply diameter data that is in violation of the One Point Beyond Control Limits test, enter 60, 61, and 62, pressing Enter after each. This is the message box trigger that you set up. Notice that the placeholder text has been replaced by the diameter characteristic. To dismiss this message, click OK. And this is the prompt for notes trigger you set up. From the Corrective Action list, select Monitor for Continued Variation. Corrective Action lists such as this, as well as Note lists and Assignable Cause lists, can be set up so they are relevant to an entire operation or just to a single characteristic. They can also be set up to accept freeform text. Click OK. Because your control limit test has been violated, the chart flashes red, signaling the process is now out of statistical control. Control test templates, tests, and triggers are the foundation of real-time SPC. Fully used, they can optimize the detection and control of special cause variation and, in many cases, return millions of dollars to a manufacturer's bottom line as a result. Thanks for watching.